Today I want to talk about subscription boxes. Are they worth it? So I like the idea of subscription boxes, but I've never really committed to buying them. I did have a subscription a while back to one called the Bait Crate, but I did it for about six or seven months and then I, uh, and then I stopped doing it. Uh, but I always liked the idea of it. Um, just having a box show up, stuff in it, you don't know what's inside. I mean, who doesn't like that? But there's always some criticism, you know, are they worth the money? Uh, do you get good quality stuff in them? So I thought I would pick a couple up and pit them head to head and see which one I like best. Then I thought, well, hey, I'll do this with like eight or nine or 10 of these different companies and kind of see which one comes out as the best one in my opinion. So like I said, this is my opinion. If you guys want to weigh in, I would strongly encourage you to do that in the comments. Uh, let me know which one you think is the best of the boxes I'm going to show you today. I'm going to start this month with Tackle Monkey which I had never heard of. Tackle Monkey uh, subscription box. This is, they only make one box. You know, a lot of these companies have multi-species or they have a large box, a small box, a mega box, all this different stuff. Tackle Monkey has one box. This box is $30. We're gonna go through that. And then we have Lucky Tackle Box. And I think Lucky Tackle Box is probably one of the originators. Maybe the first company, I think Lucky Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box, they kind of started all this back in the day. This is their tournament series box. This is like, it's big. You can see this is a lot bigger box than the Tackle Monkey box. This is $47, whereas this one is $30. So quite a bit more expensive, but it does have more stuff in it. So I wanted to start with the Lucky Tackle box and let you guys know what I think. So open this up. Now, like I said, this was the tournament series box. I was under the impression this was a bass fishing box, tournament box. Now, maybe I ordered the wrong one. I'm not sure, but it is multi-species. There's some stuff in here that I probably wouldn't use for bass fishing. So I open it up. It's got this little uh, paper wrapping in here. All right, guys, so there's quite a bit of stuff in here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, we're just going to kind of go through it. I'm not going to go break down every bait, but I'm just kind of show you what I what is in here. And, and you guys can then determine the value. So I will tell you right off the bat, there's a lot of companies in here I've never heard of. Okay. So this is a, a little lipless bait from Crave Baits. Um, half ounce and two and a half inches long. I mean, this, this is work everywhere for probably most every species out there. Everything needs a lipless um this is one of them that uh i never heard of hydro tech and there like i said there's a lot of companies in this box i'd never heard of i kind of figured for 47 dollars you'd have some bigger name companies um not that you know some of these other brands don't make good stuff i'm not saying that uh they're just not well known so this is a hydro bait hydro tech pro minnow and actually, I would call this a walleye bait. This is not something I would probably ever throw. Um, it's a long, slender bait with a great big bill on it. Um, this would be something I think you would use to troll for walleye. Spinnerbait. Uh, this is probably the best thing in the box, in my opinion. Um, it's a clear cut. I've never heard of that brand either. Um, double willow blade. Oh, that says 3 8 ounce right on it. That is uh, a good bait. That's that's gonna work everywhere. We've got a frog, another brand I've never heard of, Senshi. Uh, but nothing wrong with this. I mean, if it uh, looks like it has some decent hooks on it, if it doesn't soak up too much water, that's gonna be a good bait. Some flukes, chaser baits is what it's called, and it's just a fluke. I mean, that thing will work. I kind of like that color too. Little jerk bait, T-boned. This is a company I have heard of, T-boned minnow. I think they do, they kind of, they make a lot of baits that work for both bass fishing and walleye fishing. And then they make, I think they make some pretty big stuff to use for muskie and pike. Uh, but there's a little uh, jerk bait. That would work great. A little blade bait, Rip and Lips blade bait. 
And um, these are something I haven't really, I don't have a lot of experience with. These, this would be a good bait for both walleye and bass, same, same kind of deal. Um, and actually you can ice fish with this bait too. Okay, let's see. This, honestly guys, this is kind of upsetting. I do not want <laughs> this kind of stuff, okay? This is a Texas rig kit from Mustad. And I don't know if you can see that. There's like a little uh, a swivel clasp in there, an extra wide gap hook, and a bead. So like, I don't know. For me, this is this is not something I need, I mean, or want. I've, I'm certainly not gonna use a swivel on a Texas rig. That's never ever gonna happen. Um, the bead, sure, but one hook in a in a package like this, kind of a sample pack, little kit, not really something I'm interested in. The other thing that's in here, we have, and there's Mustad makes great hooks. I mean, nothing wrong with that, but it's a sample pack, right? Two pack. Just it's kind of a. You expect for 40, 47 bucks, they're going to put a full pack of hooks in here, two pack. So these are good hooks. I mean, three odd, extra wide gap, um, ultra lock, light, soft plastic hooks. But like I said, kind of a, kind of a sample pack rather than a full pack. Now this one, this was kind of the one that was like, what the heck? Did I order the wrong box? Now I don't think I did guys. I ordered the Bass Tournament Series box, but these are live bait circle hooks. Um, I don't really live bait fish. It's not something I'm ever going to use. Certainly if you're getting a multi-species box, this would be something that would be interesting or something that somebody would want if you get a multi-species box. You know, um, you could use this for live bait fishing for bass or uh, good for cat fishing, stuff like that, but not something I'm going to use. A little minnow. Um, that's a good bait. A little crank bait. Nothing wrong with that. Looks kind of like a, a flicker shad from Berkeley, almost about the same size. Um, that would be a good bait. Okay, here's another one that's like, this is definitely not a bass box. These are tiny little tube tube jigs or tube grubs. Um, you'd use them for catching panfish, crappie, uh, bluegill, stuff like that. Now, certainly you can catch bass on this stuff, but um it's not really what i'm doing and this is the same thing right a little like a little uh underspin a little road runner um panfish stuff right this is not stuff i'm going to use for bass fishing and last we have some uh little swim baits toad bass tackle this is at visionary outdoors same as some other soft plastics i showed those are going to work just fine little paddle tail swim bait Nothing wrong with that. All right, guys, so that is the Lucky Tackle Box, all right? All right, now we're gonna move on to the Tackle Monkey Box. This is a, uh, like I said, a company I never really heard of, uh, but they make uh, subscription boxes. They sell some other stuff too. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got in here. Now this was $30, $29.99, something like that. So it was a lot cheaper than the other one, but um, there's a lot less stuff in here, okay? The, the Lucky Tackle Box has much more stuff in it. All right, so as far as I can tell, B Tackle Monkey makes one box and it's bass baits, okay? So let's get started here. First, we have a Blitz Frog, soft body frog. Um, typical frog there. I mean, I don't see any reason that won't work. I don't know anything about Blitz Frogs. I never heard of that, Blitz Lures. Never heard of that before, but it does have BMC hooks. So, you know, it's got some good hooks in it. Nothing wrong with the frog. All right, the next we have a Strike King Series 5 crankbait pro model. And um, this one dives, how far does this one dive? Dives to 12 feet. That's a good bait. That's a quality bait for sure. Uh, Strike King makes good crankbaits. And uh, actually that's a pretty nice color too. I like that. What is that color? White chartreuse back. That'd be a good color. All right. Next, we've got a jerk bait. This is the Rick Rick Clun series from Lucky Strike Lures. 
uh, Rick Kung, Rick Clun Classics, and it's really hard for me to say his name. Um, this is called the Natural Emerald, which is kind of a shad color, emerald shad. Um, yeah, that looks like it'll work. Nothing wrong with that. All right, now this, I, I actually, okay, so I actually need a pair of scissors, okay? I've got a pair that I keep in my kayak and and they're all rusty because I don't, you know, I leave them in there and they get wet, blah, blah, blah. So I need a pair of these scissors, but in a subscription box, this is not what I'm looking for, right? I want baits and stuff. I'll go down and buy a pair of scissors from the store, you know, I mean, to me, I mean, there's nothing wrong with these. Like I said, I need them. So it's kind of good timing, but for me in a subscription box, I don't want to see scissors in there. Okay. But scissors are very important. Got to have them. Okay, so here, uh, just like in the last box, we have a, a, a pack of Mustad extra wide gap hooks. Now, um, these are a two aught hook. I think the other ones were three aught. And uh, this is a four pack. That other thing was a two pack. So this is closer to like what you call a full pack of hooks, right? Not just a kind of a sample pack. So um, yeah, Mustad hooks are good hooks. Okay, now this one is pretty cool. This is, uh, I was I was happy when I saw this. This is a Molex Nano Jig. And it's a real small finesse jig. It's only 3 sixteenths of an ounce. And actually, I started fishing with some smaller jigs last year. And I really I really enjoyed it. Um, I, had, I had a lot of fun and a, a lot of success on them. Um, this one's a little lighter than I've used. But uh, there we go. It's a white shad nano jig from Molex. All right, next we've got some Zoom Super Salt Plus 6 inch lizards. There they are. Can't go wrong with these bad boys, especially in the springtime. Um, and Zoom is a classic name in bass fishing, right? They're one of the originators of the soft plastic lures. And. Uh, they make some good stuff. In fact, I think they created the color green pumpkin on accident. I heard that story one time. Um, this is a nine pack of Zoom Lizards. Those will get a workout this spring. And then the last thing I've got in the box here is from Bruiser Baits, uh, which I've never heard of. And um, they are made in the USA, it says. This is a 10 inch curly tail and the color says Summer Craw. But I don't think that's right. Uh, this would be, I would call this like a, a watermelon, a watermelon green or something like that. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't really look like a craw color to me. But this is a 10 inch ribbon tail worm. And um, yeah, that's a good bait right there. Like I said, I never heard of this Bruiser Baits. It says they got some fish attractant infused in them. That is a good looking worm right there. I'll definitely be using those up this year. And this is a full pack. It's a six count of those infused with Dr. Juice. There you go. Bruiser Bates. All right, guys. So between these two boxes, I would definitely say that I was very disappointed in the Lucky Tackle box. For the price, um, it was not what I expected. Um, really didn't have any big name baits. If you go to their website, you'll see that they have all these big name baits listed, Six Cents and Zoom and all these other bait companies that they put in their box. Well, I mean, I didn't really get any of that except for Mustad hooks, right? And I got sample packs. Um, so not that these other baits aren't good baits and won't catch fish, they certainly will. But for that kind of money, I expect some big name baits and um, a little more value. The other side of that is, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I ordered the wrong box or they sent me the wrong box, but that's definitely a multi-species box, which is not what I was looking for. I wanted the bass box. So like I said, I don't know if I made that mistake or they did, but either way, um, I was much more pleased with the Tackle Monkey box. Um, it definitely had more of what I was looking for in it. Um, really didn't have sample packs, had full packs. So I felt like the value was there and it had some good quality baits in it. So for this round guys, I have to go with the Tackle Monkey. I say Tackle Monkey is better than Lucky Tackle Box.
which is kind of surprising considering Lucky Tackle Box has been around for a while. And they're either the first or second company really to do a fishing subscription box. Um, they're right there with Mystery Tackle Box. So, um, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my conclusion, guys. Tackle Monkey is greater than Lucky Tackle Box. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you're thinking about these two boxes. Uh, let me know if I'm totally wrong. Um, I know they're not kind of apples to apples because that one's a little bit more expensive, but let me know what you're thinking, guys, uh, and tell me in the comments below. And if you have a box that you prefer, uh, leave that in the comments too. Let me know. Uh, share that with everyone and, and let people know what you think is the best one. All right, guys, so next month, I'm gonna come back with a video with a couple other boxes from different companies, and we're gonna kinda, we'll move Tackle Monkey on to the next round. Uh, we're gonna kick Lucky Tackle Box to the curb, and um, we'll see, we'll see how this shakes out. It's gonna be fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell down there so you don't miss anything, and we'll see you next time.